Are flag seeds worse than soy as the king being dethroned? And what specifically about flag seeds makes them bad for men? Well, mostly phytoestrogens. And that's just estrogen from plants, pretty much. They have an effect on humans because they bind with human estrogen receptors. So that makes them estrogenic. Something that is estrogenic is anything that mimics estrogen in the body. A popular one you might have heard of is microplastic. Pretty much every sunscreen as well, pesticides, and some types of mold, and really so on. There's a lot of estrogenic stuff out there. But our focus is this phytoestrogen. A big powerhouse of phytoestrogens is soy. Some people say eat soy, others say avoid soy. A lot of studies that favor soy, they'll say well it has little to no effect on testosterone in men. And that's a very elaborate way of testing that because as you heard by now, what's in soy is phytoestrogen. It affects your estrogen so it makes you more feminine in that sense. Because as you probably know, estrogen is the female hormone. So as a man you want high testosterone but you also want to keep your estrogen low. If your testosterone is like a thousand, which is very high and your estrogen is 4,000 you're still gonna look like this of course as a man you want some estrogen but the amount of estrogen you have in your body is more than plenty to keep you in the optimal range for estrogen you don't want any more especially not from phytoestrogens plastic or anything along those lines and frankly i don't know what soy or phytoestrogens do to testosterone so these studies could very well be right because we want to know how it raises estrogen not how it lowers testosterone nonetheless flax seeds the focus of the video from the book Estrogeneration by Anthony G.J., which I'd recommend you read, there's a page that shows from studies how much phytoestrogen was in legumes and some other stuff. Chickpeas came in relatively high at 5 micrograms per cup. Black beans were even higher at 9 micrograms per cup. So now soy. You've heard of it being estrogenic, so what do you expect? Like maybe... 20 micrograms per cup a pretty insane number would be 50 that's like over five times more than black beans well soy has over 103,000 phytoestrogens per cup that's absolutely crazy you probably thought a thousand was unimaginable no you get a hundred times more than that but moving on to flax seeds what's your guess the answer is almost 400,000 just two of these cups will get you at almost a million micrograms of phytoestrogens. Put this into perspective. One flaxseed probably has more phytoestrogen than a few cups of some normal legumes. So just one of these seeds is very, very potent. I'm talking like possibly one of the most estrogenic plants of all time. The undisputed king. Luckily for us, flax seeds are nowhere near as common in food as soy, but it's kind of not very fair to flax seeds because soy is everywhere. It's hard to beat it. Nonetheless, it is marketed as a health food. You'll see it in bread, even these organic breads that try to be marketed as something healthier. Really, where you'll see grain, you'll probably see flax seeds. But the worst of the worst is probably the very concentrated sources like flax seed oil. Some some people use this as a supplement for health or other benefits like for detox or anything else along those lines. Many natural-ish medicine doctors will even recommend this to their patients but I recommend that you should definitely avoid this. I think if you were to only consume flaxseed oil every day, well not even only, like as your only cooking oil, like for salads, as dressing, you put flaxseed oil, your eggs, you cook those on flaxseed oil, even though it might actually burn. But for this example, you're just going to be saying you consume a lot of flaxseed oil. And this is a guess, but it might straight up be comparable to mild hormonal therapy. Like we aren't talking about man boobs anymore. We're going from Bakihama to Kozue. And I don't want you guys to be scared of black beans or chickpeas because those who are in favor of soy or flaxseeds, they'll say, oh, well, all legumes have phytoestrogens to some extent. Yes, they do. But those numbers are so small that if you have a healthy microbiome your body will actually be able to neutralize those phytoestrogens because think about it we've been living so long consuming all of these vegetables and i'm sure probably almost every single vegetable has phytoestrogens to some extent but our bodies have a mechanism against it because we've been consuming all of these vegetables and stuff for so long but it's things like soy and flax seeds that completely overwhelm that system as you saw with the huge number of phytoestrogens before so read the labels on your food wisely and have a good day.